Hello and welcome to this third lockdown learning series video where we're looking at chord pads. So in previous videos we've seen the basics of how to use chord pads and loading up different chord presets and also looked at how to generate rhythms using the patterns which are available, which there are thousands to experiment with. And in today's video we're going to look at editing the chords themselves. So often you will find you'll load up a preset and you'll like some of them but you won't like all of them so this is the one from previous with the tensions in there and i like what i can come up with pretty quickly particularly because of the way the adaptive voicings work so it, providing i i select the right chords as i go through i end up with a nice chord on the g so this kind of thing I don't want this next chord for sure. Yeah, that's not the way I wanted that to end at all. So we can change it. Now, these are reasonably easy to change. So you click on the little triangle here and then you pick the chord that you want. So in this case, the next chord I want is going to be G sharp major. And it helpfully, it plays you as we go. So I just want a plain old A flat there. And then for the next one, I'm going to want a B flat. So again, I just click the open editor here, pick B flat. And there we go. And I think that's going to be what I'm after. I might want to put in some tensions afterwards, but you can always click these to edit it and then change it afterwards. So now, hopefully, I'll get the chord progression I want. And there we go. So that's that's what I was looking for. So they're pretty easy to edit. I say you can just click the open editor button, pick the chord and the extension. So you can play around with these. So these may not be things that you would typically play around with these tensions or extensions, etc. But you can do that and also alter the bass note if you want to have it over a different bass. There's loads to experiment with. So just, you know, if you're not sure, just stab away at these and see what you come up with, because often that can be a good way to learn. Once you've done that, if you want to, you can save this as a preset. So in this case, I'm going to save this one and I'm going to call it uh, Cheesy Dance Starter Prog 1. And there we go. So that's then saved as a preset. So I can always reload that if I've decided I need to generate some terrible dance music to try and pay the rent or something like that. So hopefully that's rounded out your use of chord pads and you'll be able to find this as a useful tool for song starting maybe if you're lacking in inspiration or lacking in keyboard skills certainly i am as i uh, have demonstrated to myself several times last night while trying to play something really simple so we won't go into that but hopefully you found that useful and i'll see you again soon